<laughs> Welcome to Live at Five Cinema. This is how girls want to have fun. They run up the subway steps, they go down the boardwalk, they cause trouble. Well, girls just want to have fun. You have to cause trouble sometimes. Just to know the difference. And anyway, you have to, I mean, if you were always good, you, you know, and you never got into any trouble, it wouldn't be much fun. Cindy, I'm taking a look at your hair. And uh, unless you have black and white, you can see there's a variety of colors going on there. The first time you did that, or one of the first, you were 12 years old. What happened to you? No, I used sun in when I was 12. But when I was 9, I did my hair for St. Patrick's Day with some food coloring. But green. didn't neighbors throw rocks at you? Yeah, they did. You didn't want to tell. <laughs> You didn't want to tell that part. Well, no, you know what happened? <laughs> what? I went to college. Uh-huh. I was studying to become a brain surgeon. And um, when I came back from school, now we could communicate on a different level. Yes. When um, we, we came, I came back from school and I was into old clothing. And um, nobody else was really into it that much. And uh, so I had rocks thrown at me because I looked a little different. But, you know, if you can't take a joke. If you, you can't know, take great. a joke. Uh, then you went to college, and you discovered you had some kind of harmonic thing to your voice, and you called it a whispering note? No, it, those are harmonics. Um, everybody Sorry. has. No, no, but it's, yeah, it sounds like a whistle. Um, it's, uh, it's really like the same thing um, as a guitar. When, you know, when you play a guitar, mm -hmm. there are harmonics on a guitar. There are harmonics in the human voice, too. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I had discovered that I had harmonics. Okay. No, I'm going back and forth, yeah, but it makes right. me more comfortable. You can okay. keep yours on all the time. Basically, it's I have to look at the piece of paper, and it's difficult. In, uh, in the mid-70s, when you were with Blue Angel, and the last time you were here, as a matter yeah. of fact, uh, you were with them. Great reviews. Why split? Well, that's kind of sad. We, we were doing oh, rockabilly. Let me put these back on. No, we were doing sad. rockabilly, and we got labeled as a 50s, 60s group. And um, and uh, we, you know, tried to just keep everything going, mm -hmm. and we couldn't after a while. Everybody, you know, the industry wasn't ready for rockabilly at that time. It was before the Stray Cats popped, which I'm really glad they did. I really like the Stray Cats, and it's good to see that kind of music happen because I like that kind of music. But uh, we didn't have our business too much together either, and you know, you can't just dive in and work, 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 and for nothing, you know, sometimes. Before Blue Angel, but you were ready for problems because you performed with a lot of bands before Blue Angel, and as they say in, in print, you took abuse. I would uh, guess verbal abuse. Yeah, that and other things. I oh, you're going to be cagey now? No, All of no. a sudden you're going to be an introvert. Let me put these glasses back on. <laughs> <laughs> nice voice. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was excited. No, but um, you know what it is? Wait a second. Sorry. Right. If you, um, as a woman yeah. in the man's uh, society, I found that um, my thinking was different, except that I knew that for advancement I would go from one band to another, and it didn't matter to me. I had one objective, what I was doing, but... The mentality was different. It was kind of like a, a boys club mentality, which I, as, as a girl, being brought up as a little girl, never, like I was never on a baseball team, mm -hmm. so I didn't have that kind of Some cookie rock, yeah, men yeah. mentality. I didn't understand, so I had to understand the way, uh, a feminine way of thinking and uh, the way uh, this whole boys club uh, baseball team, you know, way to go, bro. You know, that's where to go, thing. bro. Yeah, but you know, but when after when I realized I like I love men, I work with men, and oh, I have a good time. Oh, it's just time. tough to do it to sometimes. understand and communicate. You have discovered. I'm, I, I am interrupting you only because no, I'm it's trying, okay. I, no, I'm trying to wind it down. Where's the camera? Because we're out of time. It's, it's, it's there around here. Okay, because they promised they'd wink. Here it is over here where the red light is. Oh, wink. Okay. Okay. Before we go off, I just want to say that Cindy Lawson has been through some problems and... But I found the peg. If you found the peg, you're happy, you're successful, we'll see you next time. Oh, okay. And we'll talk about your mama, because that was what interested oh, me in reading, really? and I didn't get the chance to oh, do that, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Next time. Okay. Zach.